I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life even though they die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. I know that my Redeemer lives and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking he will raise me up and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see and my eyes behold him who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord. And if we die, we die in the Lord. So then whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. So it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister Carol, and we thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Psalm 121 which is perfect for this setting. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We do not lose heart. Though our outward humanity is in decay, yet day by day we are inwardly renewed. Our troubles are slight and short-lived and their outcome in eternal glory which outweighs them far. Meanwhile, our eyes are fixed, not on the things that are seen, but on the things that are unseen. For what is seen passes away, what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly frame that houses us today should be demolished, we possess a building which God has provided. A house not made by human hands, eternal and in heaven. In this present body we do indeed groan. We yearn to have our heavenly habitation put on over this one in the hope that being thus clothed we shall not find ourselves naked. We groan indeed. We are enclosed within this earthly frame. We are oppressed because we do not want to have the old body stripped off. Rather, our desire is to have the new body put on over it so that our mortal part may be absorbed into life immortal. God himself has shaped us for this very end and as a pledge of it he has given us the Spirit. We therefore make it our ambition wherever we are here or there to be acceptable to him. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A reading from the Gospel of John. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never turn away. I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. It is his will that I should not lose even one of all that he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. For it is my Father's will that everyone who looks upon the Son and puts his faith in him shall possess eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. At times, the disease of dementia has been called a slow death. And I know, Don, that Carol, as precious as she was to you, it was very difficult to see her in these last days. But you and the time you spent with her is never wasted. God has taken all that into himself, into God's heart, even as he has taken Carol into his heart. And Carol now has a new life, a new body, a new mind, a new heart, a new soul. And I think you will find that her love has been perfected. Her love for you, her love for her family, her love for her friends is now made perfect in the love of God, whose heart is greater than we can ever ask or imagine. You will miss her till your dying day. I have no doubt about that whatsoever. But at the same time, I know that you will find comfort in knowing that she has been gathered to God's heart. She is now in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. And today we will commend her body into God's everlasting heart. Amen. And let us pray together the prayer our Lord has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For our sister Carol, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Carol and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life. Hear us, Lord. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints. Hear us, Lord. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Hear us, Lord. Comfort us in the sorrows of the death of our sister. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our sister Carol, and we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious to her. 
the Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace. Amen. Rest eternal grant to her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good will to do the work he has given you to do, which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and rest upon you this day and always. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia.